We have been telling you about the Chinese president's drive to weed out corruption from the army. And now the U.S. intelligence has revealed that the drive has intensified after corruption began obstructing President Xi's drive to modernize the army. It had come to the point that questions were even being raised about Beijing's ability to fight a war. And U.S. officials believe that corruption has become so deep-rooted in the nation's industrial defense space that President Xi is unlikely to order any major military action in the coming years. And these are not mere speculations. U.S. assessment has cited several examples of the impact of corruption. And this includes missiles being filled with water instead of fuel and missile also found with defunct lids in western China. All this has reportedly impacted the morale of People's Liberation Army. And the corruption has especially plagued PLA's rocket force, that unit that which is central to President Xi's modernization drive. But the Chinese president seems to be determined to achieve his goal. And few officials have been sacked, while a few others have disappeared. On December 29th, nine defense officials, including five linked to the missile force and two from equipment department, were removed. And China's political advisory body also removed three executives from state-owned missile manufacturers earlier. While a rocket force major general was also quietly removed in November. And this happened after China's defense minister, Li Shangfu, was ousted in October after months of disappearance. His whereabouts are still unknown. And three top rocket force chiefs were also probed and removed. And these are the removals that are out in the open. Otherwise, Chinese military does not reveal details about graft probes. And the Chinese military pledged on January 1st in an editorial to wage a war on graft this year, suggesting that more removals could happen in the near future. President Xi has pumped billions into buying and developing equipment for the army and these efforts are part of his mission to build a world-class military by 2050. In fact, Beijing's defense budget growing at a, is growing at a faster pace than the economy for some years now.